you from the beautiful Treasure Coast of Florida. You're watching Am Radio Concepts. All right, guys, this is Eric, KJ4YZI. Uh, in the uh, local repeater site that we are uh, working on, and I wanted to give you guys, because I've had the videos on the FT2D and the FT1D, I want to show you about the DR1X. This is the Fusion um, UHF VHF digital repeater by Yesu. And uh, I'll give you a quick idea what it looks like inside and what it does, and maybe we'll see what it sounds like. Um, you've heard what it sounds like on my radio or my vi videos, excuse me, of the uh, FT2D. So we just did the firmware update, and uh, so let me go ahead and fire this up first. And what you'll notice right on the front there, that's the screen of the FTM 400. Uh, and this repeater is totally configurable right on the front here, touch screen, you know. Set up. You can go right into the setup modes here. Okay, and there's uh, different things about ID set, you know, the ID announced for your CW, signaling for tones, uh, tone squelch, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to do too much playing around in here, but you get the idea that it shows you on the screen all the activity, uh, and it's user configurable right from the touch screen. All right, so. Uh, let me take this out of the rack here, and uh, we'll show you. We'll show you what the uh, insides look like. All right, so the back here, the accessory ports where you would uh, plug in for firmware updates. Of course, your fuse, power here. Backup would probably be for a battery backup uh, that I haven't seen yet for the DR1X, but probably a future feature. Uh, control input output. Basically, antenna, transmit, antenna receive. So uh, let's see the inside of it. All right. So inside the DR1X, quite uh, quite a setup here. Actually, what they did was it's basically two FTM 400s side by side, linked together with some uh, interfacing. One is the transmitter with the heatsink attached, and the one is basically the receiver. With the front panel there, it's basically using the screen for the FTM 400. So you have full functionality in the front of the repeater. Um, power supply is inside as well, underneath this uh, radio here on the receive side. Uh, cool with fans and all that built in. Very neatly set up, I think. Uh, it's got the speaker on the front so that you can actually use this with a mic here uh, at the repeater site for testing or whatnot. And uh, so some you know if you're interested in the DR1X you want to see exactly how it was built inside. This is this is it right here. And, uh, interface board here. And the interface in the front. So that would probably be the, the control head from like the FTM 400 here with some modifications. I, I don't think it's identical to just a radio, they probably have several different case designs here. And what we just did, the reason we had this apart, we just updated the firmware to the newest uh, DSP, newest firmware available for this. Uh, so I figured I'd have the inside here for the curious minds here. There you have it. All right, so with the repeater in operation, with the speaker on the front, uh, if I had like I said, a microphone. I can plug in here and use this as a radio. Um, but it shows me as it's in receive and transmit. Let's turn it up here. N2HUC in Wabasso, Florida. Now, uh, excuse me. Sorry, Eric. K4CPJ uh, in Wabasso, Florida contacting N2HUC in Port St. Lucie. That audio and, on that speaker uh, is brilliant. I'm not sure what the actual mileage is between the uh, well, you can see the size of the crow here. flies, but uh, you can see so it's receiving better in uh, receiving digital and, and transmitting digital 12.5 kilohertz uh, normal, and if someone switches to FM okay, well, uh, analog or voice wide, 
you know, show you on the screen. But you can kind of get a better idea as, instead of some lights in the front of what it's doing. miles from the Craig, go ahead. But the fusion just sounds spectacular. Excellent. Thank you for that, Phil. We appreciate it. And hopefully Eric got what he was hoping for for his video. So that they're talking right now. I just wanted to get a clip of the video. So hope this answers some questions on the uh, FT, on the Fusion DR1X repeater. And um, if you're interested about an amplifier using with it, check out my other video on the amplifier that it's paired perfectly with this one of the video. I hope you got through the noise in this room. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in here with the fans and stuff, but hopefully you were able to hear me. 7-3, thanks for watching from KJ4YZI.